Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a tool I created that applies a custom checker map to your object. Maya's default checker mode is nice, but I had a lot of requests to create a better one with some additional features, so let's check it out. Okay, so we just got a simple scene here. I've got a plane and a sphere, and I'm going to launch the new tool by coming up to the checker icon and clicking that, and it's going to pop open this little toolbox here. And how the tool works is you click this button, checker map, uh, with something selected, or you click it with nothing selected if you want everything in the scene to get the checker map applied. But what you'll notice is if I click that right now, click it and nothing happens, and it looks like the tool's not working, the tool is actually working. It's just we don't have a custom checker map in the folder that it's searching for. So I'm just going to turn that off by clicking there. And then the first thing that you want to do is you want to click this button here. So you can see this button here, it actually is the name of the path that the button is going to take you to. So if you click this, going to open this folder. This folder is going to be the same for everyone on the PC. And this is where you put the file that the checker map tool is going to read. So if we just click back into Maya here, we're looking for cmatemp slash checker.png. So all we need to do is put a file in there called checker PNG. For Mac users, I recently just learned that there is no C drive on the Mac and this folder won't create correctly and won't work at all. But someone was actually able to help me figure out what the Mac path was. So if you guys get this tool on the Mac and it's not quite working, uh, just let me know and I'll do my best to fix it up. So I'm just going to go to that folder there and I'm going to place a PNG in there. So there's my custom checker map. This, this texture can be whatever you want it to be. So mine's called checker.png. That's important. It has to be this name and it has to live in this folder. And then we can close this folder down. And don't worry, if you ever need to get back to that folder, you can easily just click this if you want to replace the texture later on with something else, update it, whatever, it doesn't matter. So now all you need to do is click the checker map button on the tool here. So you click it, and boom, you get the checker map applied uh, that you have in that folder. So whatever you put in that folder will be what gets applied here. If you want to turn it off, all you have to do is click it again, and it toggles it off. Now the really nice part about this tool is it doesn't just apply lambert one or whatever the default material is it plugs in the checker map from that folder and when you click it off again it actually applies back to the scene what your material was before so you don't have to worry about losing all the different materials you might have three materials applied to this and i'll show you how that works in a second here but first let's just go through some of the features of the tool so you click it and it does everything in the scene applies your custom map there you can use the plus minus just like the other tool to increase the tiling of the UVs or decrease the tiling of the UVs. If you go all the way down to one and past, it will actually go to zero and then it'll start to invert, which is interesting, but uh, just watch out for that. And this is handy because when you wanna zoom in as you're UV mapping something, if you get too close, you can't actually see the checkers. So you can just hit the checker plus and go bam, 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 and increase the tiling of that. And so how the tiling works is it's just the tiling times 1.5. You can see it actually tiling over here, or you can read down here. Each time you press it, it'll tell you how many times your texture is tiled. So when it's set to um, 1, which is the default how it starts, this plane is mapped 0 to 1, and your texture is displayed it across 0 to 1. So I actually have the word custom checker in there four times. If I click it once, I get one and a half times. If I click it twice, I get exactly two times. The other nice thing about this tool is if you click plus, 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 and then toggle it off and toggle it back on, it will actually remember your last setting. So it's not going to reset back to one every time. It's going to stay how you want it to stay. So you can kind of go back and forth in between the tool. And then I've also added this button here, base color mode, which does exactly what it's called. It switches the texture into base color. And so what that means is you might see some shading here, and it might be hard to do your UVs because it's kind of getting too dark there or whatever. When you click base color, boom. It just makes everything the solid uh, color. So basically no shading, no lighting information, nothing, just the base color. And so that guy's a toggle as well. You click it, it turns it on, click it, turn it off. And then again, the really nice thing is you leave it on. Maybe that's the way that you always like to work with UVs. You don't ever want to see any shading. You toggle the checker map off and it goes back to Lambert 1. When you toggle it back on, it remembers the base color setting. So that can be super handy as well. Okay, so I've just applied uh, one, two, three three new materials to the sphere. So I got the red, yellow, and green, and then the original Lambert one, which was applied there. So I've got four materials in the scene, and now I'm gonna show you how the uh, checker map works with uh, existing materials in the, in the scene. 
So if you have nothing selected and you click checker map, it's just going to go boom and apply the checker map to everything. Now, what's really cool is when you unclick it, it's going to go boom and it's going to put back your material uh, to whatever components you had applied. So that's super powerful. Now, if you have something selected, it's going to apply the checker map only to selection. So we know that the quad has Lambert 1 and the sphere also has Lambert 1. So let's see what happens when we click it now. I've also created this new blue sphere with a new material. So checker map on selected. And you'll see it only applies the checker map to the material on your selection. And then same thing, you toggle it off and everything's gone. If you wanted it to apply to everything in the scene, you just select nothing and do it. It does everything there. If you just wanted it to do it on the blue, select only the object that has the blue, and it will ignore everything else and just do that object. And what's really nice is this works on components as well. So if I wanted to do just the red, I could select the face and go boom, and there you go, just the red. Just the yellow, same thing. Maybe I wanted to do the green plus the blue. I believe that also works. Let's try it out. And boom, there you go. And then just click it again, and you're back to exactly what you were. So this is actually very nice. So in the beginning of the video, I showed that if you click this button here, it'll take you to the custom folder, and then you can put your custom checker map in here. But what I really wanted the tool to do as well, I'm just going to close this, is if you didn't have a texture in there, I wanted to actually make some buttons that will create some popular checker map types for you. I always found it really annoying that you had to, like, make sure you'd copy this texture to a new hard drive or whatever, or maybe I'd be on like a PC, somebody else's PC or something, or just go to a new computer, a new job, whatever. And I would either forget to bring this or it was lost or whatever. I didn't have the texture. So I wanted to actually build a tool that could generate that texture for you from code instead of having to like, oh, I downloaded the script and then I had to put the folder in the thing and then I had to put it on this PC and that PC or whatever. I always thought that was like super annoying and I just wanted to have a script where I just click a magic button and it generates the textures that I like uh, out of code. And so I did that. That actually took me quite some time. So I'm just going to open this folder here and I'm just going to get rid of that texture. Let's move it to some other folder. So now if we try to run the texture tool, it's just going to be broken. It's going to be like, oh, I don't know what to do. It's just going to go between whatever and whatever. Looks like it's still going to go back to the texture, but the the Sorry, the checker, but the texture is missing. So it's just going to look like it's going to gray or whatever. The script is still going to work. It's just going to have no data there to represent what the texture is going to be. So I created these four preset buttons here with a bunch of popular checker map nodes that um, I've seen other people use and I've used myself. So I'm just going to open this little window here so you can see we don't have anything in here. And then I'm going to click this magic button here and it's going to do some stuff. You can see the little wheel spinning. That's because it's actually creating the checker map out of code. I'm just going to wait till that finishes. It takes about 10 seconds, and boom. It's actually created, let me just minus that. It's actually created the checker map that I've used most of my career. Here, let's turn on base color. And it's completely created out of code, and you don't have to have a texture on your hard drive if this is the style that you like. If we go back into the folder, you can see it's actually built that texture for us. And that, of course, works exactly the same as using a custom checker map because it has the same name. So you click it, and there we go. You click it on, and there you go. And so, so on and so forth. Just the blue, whatever, all good. So let's turn that guy on, and we'll just click the uh, checker 2 to render out the second style. Basic, basically, these are uh, just presets. So number 2, and we'll just wait. Like I said, I think it takes about roughly 10 seconds to create one. It's going to ask you, do you want to overwrite? So this is actually nice. Because if you had a custom checker in there, it's going to obliterate it. So if you got something custom in there, make sure you back it up before you click any of these buttons. But it will give you a warning. So say OK. And boom, then we've got this style. So I know that this one is quite popular as well. Uh, one of the people that requested the uh, tool to be created actually uses this one. So you can have that one as well. Again, you don't need to have any texture stored on your hard drive. This is built into the tool, and the install is nothing special. It's the just install the shelf, and it magically has the code inside. So here's the next guy. Over right. Yep. So we got this one as well. And of course, these are all supported because it's just the texture plugged into it or whatever. And then number four. Over right. And there you go. So those are the four main styles that are built into the tool. And then, of course, you can always just click this button, overwrite this texture with whatever you want, and uh, it'll just magically show up and work with the tool. 
So pretty cool. So I'm just going to quickly overwrite that guy with my original one. Just drag it in there and say, sure, overwrite. There we go. That's done. So we're just back to the original test case or whatever. And finally, I want to show you how the script works under the hood a little bit, because basically what can happen is when it's in this checker mode. So when it's in this mode, these are all your materials and your material IDs. But when it's in this mode, I'm overriding not your material IDs. So not the actual individual red, yellow, blue, green, whatever, but I'm overriding what texture is plugged into them. So I'm hijacking those and I'm saying plug my texture node into all of your shading groups. So with the checker map off, you can see in the hypershade, you can see here's all of the stuff. There's the yellow plugged into and the Lambert one plugged into and the blue and all of that and the red. They're all plugged into these nodes here, which are called shading groups. And that's what determines what is going on, what faces are assigned to what material and what shader is plugged into those. When I turn the checker map on, you'll see I rewire all of that stuff. And if I just graph this guy, oops, there we go. Just graph that guy. Sorry about that. Uh, basically, what happens is I'm taking this checker PNG and I'm plugging it into this shader that I create in code, but you see I'm wiring it up to all of your shading groups. And this is important because if you save the scene right now with all of this plugged in, it's going to save this state and the tool won't know and won't be able to get you back to the other state. So it's important to always make sure to turn that off. See, it breaks all the connections and they go back to these guys here. See, it's all fixed up. Make sure you turn checker mode off before you hit control S or before you file new save or whatever. Anytime you're going to save, make sure that you don't see the checker mode. You should not be looking at any of the checker mode while this stuff is um, turned on. Now, to prevent you from accidentally saving with the checker map turned on, when you press control S or you go to save the scene, I actually pop up this little warning message here that says, please turn off checker map and resave your scene to prevent losing all materials. You don't actually lose all the materials, you just lose the connection. So if you did save the scene, it's not really the end of the world. You could just rehook them up in the hypershade, but it's annoying. So I pop this message only when the checker map is turned on, because this message is also super annoying. So just a little reminder to say, oh, okay, yes, I agree turn this off, and then resave the scene. And if you try to save the scene now, just hit Control S, it saves the scene fine. So only when checker map mode is on, Control S, and then you get the annoying warning that says, oh, make sure to turn this guy off. So you need to turn him off, and then you need to save the scene. If you've already purchased the full script pack or the UV mapping pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the UV mapping pack, or you can get it in the full script pack. So take your pick. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel wouldn't exist. If you liked this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have a stellar day.